Hey, 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 it's your girl, Evelyn, and I'm back. And so if you're new here, welcome to the channel. We talk about like living intentionally and self-care and uh, just all things finding your flavor and curating your life versus collecting it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you check out my video, Curated versus Collected, and it'll kind of give you a feel for what we do over here in the Evelyn Inc. family. So today I'm doing this video because one of you asked me to do an update on my life without TV. And so with it being 2020, this makes seven years without TV. So I have a one year update and I believe a five year update about life without TV. And since someone, I think they're relatively new to my channel. I don't remember your name, but if this was you, thank you so much for requesting this video. So let me give you a little bit of backstory. Um, you can go watch the other two videos. I'll try to link them in the description box, but just search TV on my channel and the videos about why I decided to stop watching TV will come up. But a little bit of background is that very similar to kind of curating your life and finding your flavor and being selective about your influences. To sum it up in a nutshell, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to control the things that were coming into my eye gates, my ear gates, into my mind, into my thoughts. And there just was a lot of things on TV, whether it was the programming and the commercials that I just wasn't really that into. And so I did an experiment. So one year, I decided to go 30 days without TV and just to kind of see if I could do it. And it went fine. So then the next year, I was like, let me see if I can do 90 days without TV. And again, it was fine. And so the year after that, which was 2013, I decided I'm just not going to watch TV. And I think I tell this story in my one year update or maybe in my five year update that I went I moved into a new place and I was getting my internet set up. And I remember that the cable guy who was there to set up my uh, internet was like, you're not getting cable. And I was like, no. And he was like, what are you gonna do? I, I, you're not gonna have cable. And I was like, you know, I was like, I could read, I could exercise, I could go for a walk, I could talk to family and friends, I could go out to dinner, I could go to a museum, I could work on my business, I could rest, I could sit in silence. I can, I, there's a lot of things to do in life when you're not working outside of just watching TV. But I never forgot that because he couldn't even fathom the concept of someone not wanting to watch TV. So now fast forward to the present day and you can kind of check out, like I said, year one, I believe in year five on my thoughts around that. So fast forward to present day, which is seven years without TV. I now no longer own a TV. So my TV that I had broke and I decided not to replace it. So um, I think at the last time that I did an update, I think I had Netflix. I think I had the Hallmark movie channel and I think I had something else. Right now, I only have Netflix and I probably log into Netflix at best two to three times a month. Um, I did go through a phase where I was like really, really consuming a lot of YouTube content. And even now, I produce more content than I consume. So my consumption of content as far as like video, TV, movies, things like that per week is probably under four hours, which that's a good number for me. And for those of you, this is the first video that you're watching. I'm not super rigid about it. Like, so if I'm at a friend's house and they have a, on a TV show and they want to watch, you know, a TV show, I'm not like, oh my gosh, no, I don't watch TV. I do go to the movies on occasion, but to be honest with you, there's not a ton of movies that I like. I like either funny movies or romantic comedies or romance movies, but I'm not into movies that have like a lot of violence and killing and shooting and murder. Like I don't, I don't find that kind of stuff entertaining. Um, also, I'm not really into movies that are like over the top, overtly sexual, um, just because I don't want to watch you doing that. Like for what? Listen. So anyway, so, um, so I feel great. I don't, I don't miss TV at all. I'm not into binge watching anything. So I'm not really into shows like <laughs> recently I'm filming this during quarantine. Today is what is today? I don't know. It's, it's May the something. Okay. And so there's this like 
graphic or a Facebook post thing going around. It's got like this list of like a hundred shows and you're supposed to put a little smiley face or a check mark or something by the number of shows that you've watched. And I've seen people on my feed, some people have like 60, 35, 75, you know, 25, 50, all that kind of stuff. And it's it's of shows that you've watched 10 episodes or more. I had five. And 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 these are like I watched 10 episodes or more pre me not watching TV. And they did have some show they didn't have some shows on there that I had watched. And I think if I had added in the shows that they didn't have on that list, I might have been at like nine or ten. And so, yeah, I just, I really, I have things to do. Like my friends and I, we, we believe, I don't want to say we believe. I mean, we do believe, but we talk a lot about like being on assignment. Like God has put us here on earth for something to do. And so for me, I'm busy about my father's work. Like I'm busy about my assignment and that's not even me working all the time. It's not about like, I'm not saying that your calling has to be your profession, but like I do have a business and I enjoy it. I love it. So that takes up some of my time. I really want to spend my time outside of work with family, with friends, on myself, you know, um, doing the things that I really enjoy. And it's not that I didn't enjoy TV, but if I were to really get serious and sat down and like, what do I really, really enjoy TV or, or watching things is way, 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 way down on the list. And so I was like, you know what? And, but it was so easy to just like sit on the couch and watch TV. And when I thought, when I think about how much some people, if they think about when they get home from work, let's say at six o'clock and if from seven to 10, they're watching TV, that's 21 hours a week, a week of of influence on them that's a lot of time and so I, I'm like when people say they're unhappy with their lives or you know they don't have time to do this I'm always like how many shows you watch how many times have you been watch something on Netflix and so it's not a judgment but it's someone as a woman who for me living my life with intention and purpose and I feel like I'm on assignment I've got better things to do with my time so um yeah, like, and I just, and I will say this, outside of maybe some things on like HGTV or things like that, I just haven't found anything really creative that I just really, really enjoy that fits inside the parameters of the type of content I like to watch. So anyway, that's my seven year update on Life Without TV. Um It's just, I mean, it's probably going to be this way going forward. Like, I, I just don't see myself consuming a lot of television I may get another tv at some point so that I can go back to watching when I do watch Netflix or when I do watch my YouTube videos so that I can watch them on a screen that I can do that um but right now it doesn't justify me buying a tv so if anything I'll just buy like a larger computer monitor and roll with that but anyway, that is my update. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for the wonderful woman who requested it. And uh, let me know if you have any more questions about, you know, like really taking control over guarding your gates and the influences because that's what we're all about over here. So if you're not following me on Instagram at the Evelyn Inc., if you want to, I would love to connect with you over there and I'll see you on my next video. Peace.